Welcome to this pack update on YouTube, where we certainly want to talk a little bit about Denali's aging. And a lot of people are asking, when is this 12-year-old going to retire? And we're leaving it up to him. We obviously are watching things, and we know that there are certain times where vulnerabilities can happen, uh, whether that be his ability to interact with the wolves or the other wolves uh, jumping on him. But at this point, again, he's doing quite well. So we watch the surveillance cameras pretty closely. And uh, this is some Holland uh, on the explore.org camera picking up Grayson and Denali. Of course, after howling, you're usually going to find a little bit of dust in so uh, bolts and axe. So, doing a little posturing there. So, being crepuscular or dawn and dusk uh, activities, we will see things on the surveillance cameras later in the evening after the center is closed. And they tend to be a little bit of age driven, meaning the younger animals will posture a lot. And this is what's called a chin rest, uh, where uh, Axel is putting his chin on top of. Grayson showing a little bit more dominance with a T2 tail, straight back tail. And uh, this is all just part of the activity. So in the morning, again, one of the things uh, with the center being closed during the pandemic was the wolves were kind of missing that human component at the window. And you can see here, 8 o'clock, we open and the wolves are pretty interested in the crowd walking up towards the viewing window. So that is a good stimulus. And you see bolts out. Bolts has been having a little bit of challenges with some bugs, but now he's back out. The humidity has dropped, um, and he's interacting with the pack. And certainly Denali, um, again, being our 12-year-old, is still wagging his tail. So we see compatibility as being part of our responsibility. Obviously, we are ethically obligated to these wolves in captivity. We know brothers tend to get along pretty well. We're obviously concerned about the different subspecies who are not related, and that's Grayson on the left and Denali on the right, especially the subspecies that tend to have a little bit of conflict. And the conflict with these two is that Denali is food possessive, typically takes all the food resources, which is why as a 12 year old, he's probably still in the pack. And uh, Axel has no problem competing with Denali, gets his face right in there, shows a little bit of blood on his face from eating. Bolts is able to defend his own. Uh, he's so used to being on the defensive because of all the other things going on in his phobic world. It's Grayson who has the most issues in possessing and possessing and guarding food. And so when we are working with feeding, you might see us feed more frequently, distribute things, cut up the deer a little bit more, because when Grayson doesn't get food um, I, as an equal basis, he gets frustrated and those frustrations can manifest themselves into bites and grab bites and there's a bite on Denali. So that's probably going to be the ticket for retirement. There's Grayson sleeping it off, actually got a good meal there. So speaking of uh, a good meal, Grizzer again, as the only retiree, he eats three to four pounds a day, three now in the summer, switching to four pounds as we get into fall and winter has access to three different retirement areas, fine shade, has a great uh, opportunity to kind of lay down. So we're going to feature a live event for Explore.org on Friday, July 31st at 11 o'clock Central Time. If you want to check it out, log in to Explore.org and in the search command, just search live event. And at 11 o'clock, we'll go live and we'll be able to share a little bit more video and a little bit more information about what's going on with the pack. So thanks for watching on the pack update. We'll see you next time.